Right. Well, Danny, any comment on the voucher plan? Oh, most definitely. I don't believe, first of all, that it necessarily will happen. I think that we will probably end up in court before it happens because I can guarantee you that the NAACP on both the state and national level will challenge the constitutionality of using public dollars for private education in a voucher system. Number two, I think that there are more serious concerns in terms of public education. If you look at Jersey City, if you look at municipalities across the state, there's an issue in terms of the segregated nature of our public education system in the state of New Jersey. We've been we're cited as a... We're the fourth most, we are the fourth segregated, most segregated school state system in the entire country. country, according to Dr. Gary Orfield from Harvard University. Um, there are issues in terms of warehousing of minority children in special education. I don't think vouchers or a school choice program are a panacea to our educational problem. Well, nothing is. Nothing is. But I have a concern when you abandon public education because I believe two things will happen. Choice cuts both ways. It's the parental choice that we believe parents would have a choice to send their children right. to any school. There's also the institutional choice. Institutions do not have to accept students under a choice program. And there's a capacity issue. There's only so many classrooms in any private right. institution. So what do you do with the marginal students? What do you do with the students who aren't necessarily academically uh, prepared to compete in the classroom? What will happen is you will warehouse those children in bad schools. But Walter, while you lay out some very cogent arguments here, isn't it also fair to say that a significant number of the people who support this idea of a voucher plan, particularly in urban areas, are African-American parents who are terribly frustrated by the failure of the public school systems in their community. What do you say to them? I don't necessarily believe it's a support of a choice plan. I believe black parents are frustrated at the conditions in public schools. And I one, think, one, 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 one options. And, well, I think, and one of the problems is, and I agree that he raises a very important fact, the legislature in New Jersey for more than 20 years has failed to deal with issues of segregated schools those schools have repeatedly, the courts have said in New Jersey that those schools are underfunded, that they're not being run properly. And, and there's some seriously serious issues there, but, you know, while legislators will stand up and talk about hate speech, they won't deal with the kind of institutionalized racism that allows a system that is really a double system where minority black and Hispanic kids are, by and large, in schools that are not functioning very well.